Uh, hey YouTube, what are you doing? Get down, it's the Terminator. I'm back with another bodybuilding video for you. Hey guys, what's up? Uh, this is going to be the first in a new series I'm starting. I'm not sure what, exactly when I'm going to title it, but basically it's about uh, Olympia screw jobs. So, guys who deserve to win the show and didn't for political reasons. And this is going to be the first of several at least. This is the 2007 Mr. Olympia. Uh, I just did a video on Victor Martinez's best shape ever where I talked about how I thought he was far superior to Jay Cutler in this show. So for those of you who don't know, Jay Cutler ended up winning the show. Victor was second, Dexter was third, and Ronnie was fourth. So these are the four guys up on stage here in the front relax pose. So I got a whole bunch of photo comparisons to go through just to kind of illustrate my point of how Jay definitely did not deserve to win this show, but he did because of politics. And um, the beauty of this is I was able to go on to, uh, I believe it was bodybuilding.com, they had a bunch of photos from the pre-judging. So all these photos, these are official photos taken from pre-judging, all these guys standing in a line. So you get the, you know, the proper comparisons. There's not going to be issues of like, you know, the photos not being to scale or whatever. This is all exactly pretty much what the judges were seeing. And these guys are all standing right next to each other, as you can see. So uh, it's perfect for comparing. So, yeah, let's jump into this um, and kind of analyze these uh, pics here. So in this picture, you know, Jay doesn't look half bad in the front relaxed pose. I'll give him that. And I can concede some points. Uh, I can concede that he's beating people in certain areas. Certain body parts were stronger. Um, if we want to pick apart, you know, Victor's legs, for instance, Jay's got superior quads, there's no question. Um, Jay's shoulders, you'll see in a later pose, in the back double bicep, are absolutely dwarfing Victor's. Um, and his calves, you know, his calves are better than all the other guys up here. Easily. But, you know, he's just... He loses ground in so many other areas. So in this pose, like I said, he's not too shabby compared to these dudes. Um, I'm kind of looking at these in detail for myself for the first time, guys. So forgive me if this is a little bit, uh, if I sound a little bit scatterbrained or whatever. I'm just kind of, I'm, I'm checking them out with you. So I got to say, uh, in this pose, I would give it to Victor. Um, because I feel like he brings the best combination of mass, aesthetics, and conditioning. You know, Dexter's probably got the best conditioning um, overall, and probably the best aesthetics, but he's just giving up so much ground in terms of mask to the other three guys. You know, Ronnie doesn't look too bad in this photo either, even though his waist... The problem with Ronnie in this show, um, he had a couple of injuries, so he had torn a lat. His, his left lat, you'll see in later poses that it's it's not even close to his right and his left tricep I believe I think it was his tricep could have been his bicep as well um, so correct me if I'm wrong on that but definitely something in his arm his left arm is not even remotely close to being the same size as his right so Ronnie the problem with him in this show um, those glaring asymmetries as a result of his training injuries and his waist is really really bloated and just out of whack but in terms of the the legs Ronnie's actually got these guys beat handily I think in terms of the conditioning from top to bottom of the legs now Jay has those feathers and stuff and you know down here in the the lower and outer part of the quad looks the best but when you go up further up the leg there's almost no detail it's just kinda of washed out whereas Ronnie's he's got that separation the vascularity that graininess all through the all through the thigh. So I gotta give him probably the the best lower body in, in this picture here. Um uh, yeah, but Jay, you know, Jay's just he's he was just really soft in this show. And you know, before I get into this and because I'm gonna be heavily criticizing Jay in this video. So before I get into this and you, you guys all start, you know, disliking because, you know, you love Jay Cutler and you think he's the best bodybuilder or whatever, you know, I'm not knocking Jay as a bodybuilder or as a person. 
I think, you know, when he's on, like in 2009, in 2010, in 2001, he's phenomenal and he's one of the best ever. But in this show, he was not on and he was not even close. He wasn't even close to his best. So I got to dock him. That's what I'm criticizing him for. I'm criticizing him in this particular show. The way he came in was just atrocious and he wasn't Mr. Olympia material. Just hands down. Flat out. So that's all I'm saying. I'm just looking at this show and these pictures and all my criticisms are based on, around that alone. Okay. So in this pose, I, you know, I would put Jay probably last to be honest. It's not that he's terrible. He looks okay, as I mentioned in this pose, but he's just too soft upstairs. Look at his arms, no detail. They look really soft and watery. All throughout his chest and shoulders as well, I'd say. Um, Ronnie, you know, at least he's got vascularity along with that mass. Jay doesn't have any vascularity whatsoever. No detail. Um, aside from a little bit of feathering down here in his quads, which he's always had. Um, good quads. But yeah, overall, you know... I think these two guys on the right look far more impressive than these two on the left. But this is just this is just the front relax. There's a lot more poses to go through, so let's move on. Uh, the back relax pose. Now, this is where Jay really looks pretty terrible. I mean, look at the lower body. Look at these glutes. These, this is off-season material. <laughs> this is off-season. This is, this is like a month out of the show condition. This is crap. Utter crap. You know, you might have been able to come in back in the 80s and 90s with soft ass glutes like these but back then guys weren't really showing that uh, muscle part so uh, you know from the 2000s and onwards this is unacceptable especially at the Olympia level if he was guest posing you know whatever but this is the Olympia guys come on what is this shit how does how do you crown this guy for that reason alone you know I'm not like a huge stickler I don't think glutes should be heavily emphasized and whatnot but at the same time you gotta have a standard right you can't be letting anything go, and this is just crap. How can you give a guy at the Sandow when he doesn't have like any glued ham tie-in? This looks like it's off season. Fuck man. I could probably beat this shit. <laughs> you know, the one thing Jay has, like I mentioned, he's got better calves than any of these dudes up here, so I'll give him that. His hamstrings are the worst though as well. And his glutes easily the worst. His back doesn't even look that impressive. He doesn't have any detail. You see the wrinkles here. Um, man, he's losing this shot to all three of these guys. Even Ronnie's beating him, and Ronnie was a hot mess this year. So next, side, uh, side relax pose now. Um, again, my eyes immediately drawn to the right. Dexter and Victor are just killing it in this pose. This isn't an official pose or whatever. I, well, I mean, it is, but it's not a mandatory. This is just like when they bring him out, the judges make him go through the quarter turns and whatnot. And I don't think Jay looks impressive here at all. I mean, pfft. look, he's got no striations in his chest. Look at compared to Victor and, and Dexter. Now you could argue Jay's not hitting it. Maybe he's already transitioning out of it or still transitioning into it. So whatever, I'm not going to linger too much because this isn't really a mandatory anyway. But Jay looks like, uh, Jay looks just not impressive here. And now the first real official mandatory pose, the front double bicep. Again, my eyes immediately drawn to the right. Uh, specifically probably to Dexter. I like Dexter in this pose the most, to be honest. Uh, yes, he's got these high lats. And it's kind of jarring how, you know, the angle here. There's no, like, smooth transition. It's just like, you know, the abs go straight up and then, boom, 45 degree off uh, to, to the side with the lats. And I don't know, I think this is something, I'm not sure if it's because he's, you know, maybe his waist has gotten a little bit thicker in, in more recent years as he got older, or if he really did improve his lower lats, but I don't notice this this jarring transition as much. It's not as evident that his lats insert so high uh, if you look at him nowadays. Um, correct me if I'm wrong, maybe I'm I'm just kind of misremembering. It would be, I wish I had a picture right here to, to, to double check that, but... That's the impression I'm getting here is like his lats don't really smoothly insert. And that's kind of like the only aesthetic flaw I'd give him. And that's kind of, maybe that's just personal preference. It's kind of nitpicking. But his arms look tremendous. His shoulders look great. He does have a really good V taper. And, you know, the midsection's good. I like Dexter in this shot. Uh, with Victor, a very close second. And Ronnie, as you can see, I was mentioning the asymmetries as a result of his training injuries. Like, look at this arm compared to this one. It's, 
ugh, it's it's night and day, and it's a crying shame that he couldn't uh, that his left arm didn't match his right because his right looks crazy. It looks amazing. This is the single best arm in this whole picture, <laughs> but this is the single worst arm in this whole picture. So, yeah, I mean, when you're that asymmetrical, to be honest. Ronnie shouldn't have even been up in this first call-out. He ended up taking fourth place in the show, and there's no way in hell that he deserved that. Now, again, I'm not knocking Ronnie as a bodybuilder. He's one of the best ever. But this is far from his glory days. You know, this is not a prime Ronnie Coleman. He was just too kind of chewed up and worn out after years of intense training and the injuries had racked up. You know, this... This was not Ronnie Coleman at his best. He was just a shadow, a mere shadow of his former self. So that's all I'm criticizing him for is, again, I'm just talking about this show, guys. So don't get all butthurt because you think Ronnie's the best bodybuilder of all time. No, well, how could you say that about him? He's the best. Come on, guys, be mature. I'm just talking about him in this contest. In 2007, he didn't look very good, and he didn't deserve to get that fourth place finish. But back to the guy, uh, the topic at hand here, which is Jay. Um, I don't think Jay looks very impressive in this shot, really. I mean, he doesn't look terrible, but his conditioning's just not good enough. It's just not. He's too smooth upstairs, and his waist is, you know, the second blockiest in this picture next to Ronnie's. So... I just don't see it. I don't see why he, he won this show. I just cannot fathom, other than just pure political bullshit, you know, I just can't fathom how he, how he beat Victor and Dexter. Because when we continue to go through these poses, you'll see a trend. I mean, again, the only thing that I'm going to give credit to Jay on is his legs here. His legs look pretty good. They're probably the best overall when you factor in the calves. But the upper body is just not doing it for me. I don't know about you guys. The side tricep. Now, you know, I'll give credit where credit's due. I actually think Jay looks pretty good in this pose. You know, he's, his body's always kind of been well-suited for this side tricep. Um, maybe it's just the way he hits it, but he's, his, his triceps always look kind of massive, you know, in, in this particular pose. Like, certainly they're bigger than Victor's, right? Although Victor's arms and shoulders are slightly sharper, I'd say. I mean, Jay's just look way meatier, you know what I mean? But when you go downstairs, Jay's the worst again, out of all these guys. I mean, look at the deep split. Even Ronnie has like a deep split here, despite his relatively poor conditioning. Look at this deep split between his ham and his quad. Dexter has it too. Jay, or sorry, Victor, you know... Victor doesn't really have that, but at least he has a little more detail than Jay. Jay's legs just are too soft here from the side. His upper body looks decent, though. I'll give him that, you know. I can even concede, you know, maybe he's winning this pose because I really like him, him, him uh, his upper body here. Although this isn't really a fair shot for Dexter because he's not hitting this pose. You can see he's not really even flexing his abs. And his, his arm's not even properly flexed either, so... Not really a fair shot for Dexter, but regardless, let's let's just give Jay the win here. Almost out of pity at this point, because this is getting embarrassing. <laughs> and side chest. Now, again, I don't feel, um, just to talk about Dexter real quick, I don't feel that he's really hitting the pro pose properly, because Dexter in this pose is one of the best. It's one of his best poses, but he's not really... You can see the uh, lack of striations in his chest. If that's not due to lack of conditioning. It's I think it's just his torso is twisted too much to the side. Uh, I'm not sure if it, maybe he was trying to sh um, show to the display to the judges over here on his right or something, or I don't know. But when you go downstairs, he's got the best leg, uh, the best uh, side of the leg here compared to Victor and Jay. And what's interesting is, you know, Victor's quads are definitely inferior to Jay's. But from the side, they look better. Look at how much more sweep they look like. This is crazy sweep. Jay doesn't have that. And this is kind of a baffling. I don't even understand this picture, to be honest, because there's no way Victor has more mass in his quads than Jay. Yet it definitely appears that way from this particular photo. Um, and when you go upstairs, I mean, I think Victor's beating Jay pretty easily here even though Jay's got you know bigger shoulders 
and he's probably bigger overall. He's twisted a little bit more to the front than Victor, so it makes him appear wider. But um, look at the look at how much Victor's chest, you know, look how much fuller it looks than Jay's. Jay's looks relatively flat compared to Victor's. Victor's is just bulging out, man, and he's got more striations going on. Um, you can see some abs up here. I mean, look over here on Jay, where there's nothing to be seen. Even though he's covering his lower abs, like, when you look up, you should still see abs, the upper abs here, and there's nothing. He's just so smooth, man. He's smooth as butter this year. And, um, I mean, contrast, like, well, actually, uh, I was going to say contrast Jay's shoulders with Victor and, and Dexter's, but actually Victor's don't really look that great here either. Look at there. There's not really a good split between his delt and his arm. Uh, even Jay has that more defined than Victor in this particular pose. Um, but look at this one on Dexter. This is crazy. <laughs> this is like someone drew a freaking line with like a white marker or something. <laughs> um, yeah, the blade, they call him the blade for a reason here in that nickname over the years because he was just so consistent with the conditioning. And, you know, I don't know. I don't think Jay looks terrible in this in this pose. I think it really... It goes well with his physique, but he's just too soft, especially in the lower body. So for that reason, I got to give Victor the, the easy win here in this pose. And Dexter would probably take second easily, or maybe even first, if he was hitting this shot 100%. Um, so I'd probably put Jay in last. I'm sh Well, Ronnie's probably last, but he's off screen. So out of these three guys, you know, I like Jay the least again. The back double bicep... Um, you know, here, I'll admit, I think Jay actually looks decent, you know, because he, uh, he's just out-muscling the shit out of the other guys next to him. I mean, look at his delts and, and even his arms, his lats, compared to Victor's here. He's just got so much more thickness and mass. So I actually think this is a pretty good shot for Jay. Probably his best overall pose in this year's competition. But when you go downstairs again, you know, like, Glutes are friggin' soft, and look at these wrinkles. Like, what? It's like saggy glutes. <laughs> and the wrinkles in the lower back. Not on point, man. Uh, Dexter looks really awkward here. You can tell he's, he's, he's like, having a battle of the elbows with Ronnie here. Because <laughs> he's not fully into the pose. Looks like he's kind of jockeying for position. Now, this is some stupid shit, right? I, I watched a um, an interview with Tony Freeman. I'm not sure how recent it was, but he was talking about this, saying, you know, the IFBB is kind of a joke. It's so unprofessional the way that they line these guys up on stage and they're all bumping elbows and stuff. How unprofessional is that, right? Like, can you not just paint kind of like, you know, blocks for these guys, designated like places to stand so that they're not bumping into each other when they hit these poses? Like, it's it's stupid looking. This is like the highest, this is the Super Bowl of bodybuilding, right? And you have these guys not even able, able to pose properly because they're standing too close to each other. It's fucking like, it's pathetic, quite frankly. It just looks dumb. And it's it's not fair to the judges. because It's not fair to the bodybuilders because they're not able to showcase themselves properly without interference. I mean, enough of this amateurish bullshit, IFBB. Get your shit together. You know, lay out proper spacing on the stage, designated areas where these guys have to stand. And if they step outside those boundaries, you freaking throw them back. You know, put them in the next call out. Dock them points. Do something to penalize these guys because this, this shouldn't be happening. But anyway, um, in terms of this pose, you know, I would probably, I might even give this one to Jay, even despite his terrible lower body. Just because, I, you know, he, he looks pretty good, um, very thick. Uh, very, he's outmassing these other guys, aside from Ronnie, but Ronnie, look at his, you know, melted left lat, um, down here too, it's not, it's not symmetrical, the arms are way off, uh, you know, Dexter's not even hitting the pose, so this is not really, you can't even really factor him in here so much, and Victor kind of, um, you know, he looks like he's matching Jay, in terms of mass from a lot of the front and side poses, but in this one it becomes apparent just how much bigger Jay is. But again, you know, the lower body, Victor's absolutely dominating Jay. So for completeness sake alone, 
I'm kind of tempted to still go with Victor, even though he's given up so much size and, and thickness to Jay in this pose. For the completeness factor, you know, bodybuilding isn't just about being big and, and having, you know, uh, you know, certain good body parts like shoulders and, and a thick back. It's from head to toe, right? That's why Phil's been racking up these wins all um, these last six years. It's because he's the most complete guy in the circuit right now. You know, he brings the total package, and that's what the Mr. Olympia should uh, embody, is that total package, and Jay's not bringing it here. So, I don't know. Uh, what do you guys think about this one? I probably got to give it to Victor for the reasons I just mentioned. You know, even though I don't think this is a bad pose for Jay, I think it's his best one in this show, but the lower body is just not, it's not up to par. And in this pose, this is kind of night and day from the last one. I mean, look at how much size it looks like Victor's given up to Jay here. But then in this pose, you know, Victor, if anything, looks just as big, if not bigger. I mean, maybe, yeah, Jay's probably still a little wider than him. But because of the narrower waist that Victor has, it doesn't really appear that way. And the extra detail, too. Victor's V taper is undeniably better than Jay's here. Jay just looks like a big soft blocky fridge <laughs> you know what i mean like this is not aesthetic whatsoever this back through the middle and the lower part is way too soft uh, way too watery victor's got way superior detail and a better v taper a better lower body victor's taking this pose dexter's probably second for again the detail factor i mean look you can actually see lower lats but on jay there's nothing it's just it fades into wrinkles it's garbage and Ronnie, you know, Roddy's, like I, like I mentioned, he's just a sh uh, pale shadow of his former self here. And this is not, you know, vintage Ronnie Coleman in terms of the lat spread. There's nothing really impressive about this, this uh, V taper anymore. Go back and watch the video I just made on his best condition ever. And it's night and day, guys. It's night and day between those shows and this one. The Ab and Thigh, uh, you know, Jay, you could argue he's not really fully flexing those abs yet. He's not crunched into it. But um, the only thing I'm giving Jay here over the other guys is his, uh, his legs. You know, his quads look definitely more sharper than the other guys. Calves are, are better, although Victor's actually look bigger in this specific picture. So, uh, And when you go to the midsection, which is really what this pose is mostly about, right? It's called the ab and thigh, not the thigh and ab. The ab and thigh. You're mostly showcasing the abs. The thighs are just kind of complete the picture. Um, you know, Victor and Dexter are just murking them. <laughs> I never liked Jay's abs. I will admit that. I think they look terrible. They're horribly uneven. He's got like, I don't know if you can catch it here, but he's actually got like nine abs, which it doesn't even make sense. I don't even think that's anatomically possible. I don't know, is this guy muted or something? But look on this side, you got one, two, three, four. What is this fifth thing down here? What the fuck? <laughs> it's always looked really weird and messy to me. I never liked his abs. And he's just got that blocky thickness through his midsection. It's not very appealing. There's almost no V-taper to speak of here. Whereas Victor, you can at least kind of see something, right? Like the lats flare out noticeably wider than the waist. Same with Dexter. Um, Ronnie, you know, like, he's just a hot mess in this show. I'm sorry, Ronnie. But you shouldn't even be up there with these guys. Um, but yeah, I gotta give this one to probably Dexter. Or Victor, I don't know. But definitely not Jay. And the most muscular. Now, look how soft Jay looks in this photo. You know, Ronnie's actually looking pretty decent in this in this shot here. Because he's kind of hiding his blocky midsection, so all you see is, you know, his arms are coming to life, his shoulders and pecs and traps look good. You know, Ronnie is easily first or second in this pose. Dexter looks crazy too. Uh, Victor is disappointingly a little bit soft, but at least, you know, look, th look at the chest compared to Jay's. It's, it's, this is like, um, you know, men versus boys here. You know, look at the striations in Vic's chest, whereas Jay's is just soft throughout. Jay's soft everywhere. Even his arms are soft, for Christ's sakes, you know? Not even a vein here. You don't even see veins in his bicep. He has, like, no vascularity. 
you know, if you don't even see a vein in your bicep, like this is pretty much like standard fare for every guy, every pro bodybuilder, even even at the amateur level. You know, you can pretty much always see that vein in the, running along the side of the bicep. And you don't see any, it's not just the lack of the vein though, it's just like super smooth all over. And um, another thing I got to knock Jay on that I feel like he never got enough criticism for this, but he's always had really weak forearms, especially in terms of the brachioradialis, however you pronounce that. You know what I'm talking about. Uh, he needs to do more hammer curls or something, but I mean, look at that compared to Victor. Look at this slab of meat right here, and where is it on Jay? It's uh, very atrophied, to say the least. Um, yeah, so... I really don't like Jay. Even his legs look soft here. I guess he's not hitting it properly. He's not flexing them fully, but he just doesn't really, other than his mass, he doesn't look impressive at all to me. So th that's all the mandatory comparisons I got to go through uh, in terms of the top four. But like I said, this was, uh, I feel like this contest was heavily influenced by politics. And another way in which that was true, not only that they gave Jay the win over both Victor and Dexter, I don't feel like he deserved to be either of those guys in this show because they were so much sharper than him. Um, sure, I'll give him the I'll I'll give him a higher place than Ronnie because Ronnie was horribly asymmetrical and his waist was way too big, but uh, he didn't. I don't think Jay deserved to be Dexter, Victor, or this gentleman right here, who happened to be making his Olympia debut. Uh, a young Dennis Wolf, and I just kind of wanted to go through a couple of comparisons with uh, comparing Dennis's individual uh, poses with Jay's. Now, unfortunately, I didn't see any uh, photos of them actually compared side by side because Dennis wasn't in the first callout. He was in the second callout, I guess. He took fifth place, so he actually, Ronnie Coleman actually beat Dennis Wolf, which is, in my opinion, complete bullshit. Complete bullshit, right? Like, they were just giving Ronnie kind of... That placing was all, all kind of based on his, uh, his legacy, his, his legendary status, you know, as an eight-time Mr. Olympia. That's really the only reason he placed as high as he did. If Ronnie had come in as a rookie looking like that, you can bet he wouldn't have even cracked the top ten. But on the other hand, you have a guy who comes in looking really pretty spectacular for a rookie debut in the Olympia in Dennis Wolf. I think he's beating Jay in this shot. Um, now, is he a flawless bodybuilder? Hell no. You know, he's got those high lats. Um, his conditioning wasn't at his trademark level like we've kind of become accustomed to in, in recent years. But it was still pretty good and I think better overall than Jay's. I mean, just look in this photo. Look at the quads. Um, not in terms of size because, again, these aren't quite to scale. You can tell Dennis's is a little more zoomed in. So it's not really fair to be like, oh, his, his legs are dwarfing Jays. Well, yeah, of course, it's a closer up uh, shot. But uh, just look at the detail, though. I mean, look at the detail in the upper part of the quad compared to Jays upper quads. Jays, like, don't have anything, and, and Dennis's are shredded all the way up to the hip. So, and even if they're not bigger than Jays, they do have a more noticeable sweep to them, especially in the outer part, right? There's way more of a bulge, uh, <laughs> that's what she said. There's way more of a bulge right here than uh, what, what Jay's bringing. And I feel like Dennis's upper body is more impressive than Jay's as well. Um, it looks a little harder. Jay's looks comparatively softer and smoother. And uh, Dennis's V taper is better because he's got a tighter waist than Jay. And it's, again, noticeable here. Those, all those same uh, critiques I just made are, are evident in this pose, also, also a front pose. And you can also notice, I think Dennis actually has better width through the shoulders here than Jay. At least, to me, they look wider. It looks more impressive in this shot than Jay. Um, pretty much everywhere. The only thing I kind of give to Jay over, over Dennis in this pose is... Um, Yes, he does have some slight feathering down here, but this is muscle maturity. You got to expect that this is not something you're going to bring in your first Olympia contest as a new, a relatively new guy um, to bodybuilding, because uh, these are like the finer details you acquire only after years and years of training. Hell, uh, Phil Heath doesn't even have these sorts of details yet, and maybe he never will. It's it's also a genetic thing. So, next one though. 
back double bicep, uh, again, not really to scale. So, you know, yes, Dennis looks like he's absolutely dwarfing him, but he's probably not if you were to stand them side by side. But I still think even, even if Dennis was smaller than Jay and noticeably so, I still think he looks more impressive. Uh, his, his whole body just looks tighter. You know, you don't see those, the same kind of, look at all these wrinkles in Jay's lower back and in his glutes. Dennis doesn't have that. He looks much tighter. And he, again, the V taper is superior. I just think it flows better. He looks more aesthetic. I think he just looks better than Jay, just playing better. You know, yes, Jay has more thickness, more muscle maturity. He's probably bigger than him if you were to stand them right next to each other in a fair comparison, but I think Dennis just looks overall better. And again, the back lat spread, uh, the V taper is noticeable, whereas with Jay, it's not really. <laughs> it's, it's not really a strong pose for Jay this year. And yeah. And so that's another guy I felt like color should have placed behind in this show. So at best, I feel like Jay didn't deserve any higher than fourth this year. You know, but certainly not first place. That was a joke. And let's go on to, I think I got, yes. Nope. Oh, one more. One more comparison here with Wolf. And in my opinion, Wolf is absolutely crushing him. You can just see, like, way more detail, way more hardness uh, apparent in the upper body. Even the legs look, in my opinion, they look probably as good, if not better, than Jay's. But, I mean, look at the vascularity through the arms. Again, Jay's are soft as shit. It's like jello. And the chest, even Dennis's chest looks a little harder than Jay's. Um, man, it's just, there's no contest really between these two photos. I don't see how anyone in their right mind could be saying Jay's beating him in this pose. So enough of Dennis Wolf and Jay. This was taken from the very end of the contest, you know, when they're standing there waiting to see who, who wins and they're going to announce the winner's name. So this is uh, Victor and Jay, the last two men standing. And I just wanted to draw attention to this. I mean, look at Jay's facial, facial expression here. Does this look like a man who's ready to win? <laughs> no way, man. Look how freaking nervous he looks. Look at Victor in, in contrast. Victor's confident. He's standing confidently. Jay's like, oh, oh God, oh man. It's almost like, I don't even know what he's all timid about. Like at best, you know, or sorry, at worst he got second place in the world, which is amazing. But I think it's, it's more about for Jay, I think he's probably nervous for two reasons. On the one hand, he's probably dreading, you know, Victor's name being called, meaning that Victor won, and that Jay's no longer Mr. Olympia. But at the same time, he's probably dreading the other outcome, which is when he does win. And look at the... <laughs> so when they, when they did call Jay's name, I mean, look at Victor's face. He's just like, really? Good joke, guys. And Jay... Even Jay knows, man. Look at that sheepish little smirk he's got going on there. That's like a guilty grin. He knows he didn't deserve it. He knows it. If you go back and watch the video, there's video footage of this too. You can see it even more apparently than these two still photos. You know, it's just so obvious. Even this old dude in the background is like, what the fuck? <laughs> really? <laughs> I mean, there's just... <sighs> Guys... This is one of the many screw jobs in the Olympia. There's been several others throughout the years. Uh, this video is getting a little long, though, and I think I've made my point. I don't see how anyone in their right mind who knows what, who's been following bodybuilding for a while and has an eye for this sort of thing, could possibly give Jay the win this year. Even if you don't like Victor, then give it to Dexter. If you don't like Dexter, give it to Dennis, man. There's at least three guys who should have, it should have and could have beat Jay, but didn't basically because of politics. So that's enough of this video. I'm not really going to get into why I think the politics were in Jay's favor. I've kind of mentioned it before in other videos, and it's mostly just speculation and rumor, so I don't really think there's much point in it. But suffice to say, I mean, there's no real other explanation I can think of for how Jay managed to win this show. So that's it, guys. That's all for the video, and uh, yeah, I'm the Tominator signing out, and I'll be back.